Well, good afternoon and welcome to Trenton Park for this afternoon's National League South fixture between Bath City and Dartford. At the start of the season, our visitors are one of those sides you always believe to be a shoo-in for a playoff slot. After all, they've made the end of the season contest in the last four seasons, twice finishing second in the league, yet never making that final breakthrough. Yet this season, well, it's been very different. After a run of poor results and then losing the local derby against Maidstone, Geordie manager Alan Dyson was given the boot. Back in temporary charge comes former manager Tony Burnham, now in his fourth spell looking after Dartford. However, with only two wins in their last ten fixtures and having dropped to 19th place in the league, there's clearly much to do. Meanwhile, City have had two moral-boosting victories, one over Western Supermare and the other over Eastbourne, and they'll be keen to add to that tally this afternoon with a congested February fixture list, putting added pressure on Jerry Gill's small squad. My name's Andrew Kerslake, and this afternoon our match commentary team comprises Chris Chappell, at least it will when he comes off the M4, and Toby Wellington. And uh, it looks like it's going to be Dartford kicking off, playing towards the Bristol end, and Bath City down the slope towards the Bath end. So I will hand over to Toby Wellington to take us through for the first part of commentary this afternoon. Well, worth mentioning, Jerry Gill in the stands with us today, suspended after his yellow card <laughs> last week against Eastbourne as here comes the kickoff, and Scott Wilson's closed down a long clearance that's going to be played back to the goalkeeper, that was almost an exciting start, and it's cleared away by Terrell, as Colson gets this one from the free kick from Casa Grande, Cody Cook making his way back up to his feet as Wall gets in behind here, and the flag goes up again, that's two offsides against Alex Wall in the first two minutes here, but a fast start from Dartford, they're looking in behind very quickly, the ball is up in the air as Tom Smith heads forward, and Scott Wilson will chase this in behind, but it's going to be Block who's able to clear away, and uh, the ball's going to bounce just over the city half, into the city half. Romain had a hand on the shoulder of Greenslade, but no foul as Romain comes forward down the right-hand side. Plays it into now Shomerton, who's going to run at Greenslade. Is in the box. Shomerton onto his left foot, chops back onto his right. He's looking for room to cross, sets it back to the edge of the box, and a shot that's just over the bar. That's a good effort, and Dartford have started this game very, very well. That's Miller Rodney, who's fired just over from the edge of the box. Terrell taking that kick. Under a little bit of threat there, very short, ball comes forward, it's Tom Smith. It's a very interesting decision to have played a short one there because City was so high, but they found their way out Dartford, but City have the ball in the Dartford half, ball up the line from Cook to Chin, Chin delivers from the right-hand side, it's a deflected over the top of the bar by the Dartford defender, didn't quite see who it was, and then Pard got it over the bar, but he sliced it and it almost went towards his own goal. Chin's come out as a short option and Clark has picked it out, and Chin takes a touch back to Clark, Clark into the box now on his left foot, 20 yards out, has a go, and it's a hobbling effort that's gone well over the bar, and it's going to be a Tartford goal kick. Greenslade heads away here, it's Wall back forward towards Remain, but again, Greenslade is there, and Cody Cook has got it in the centre circle now, it's a lovely clip-in ball behind for uh, Chin to chase, and Chin has made it there, he's got to the byline, he crosses right-footed, it's come to the middle of the area, and Block is there to volley it away, City very close, and it's actually been given as a goal kick, Cook gets it from Winter, but unable to take it under control. Here's Russ out to the left-hand side. Ewan Clark in the Dartford half. Got his first chance to run here today. He's got Shomerton and Block on him. He's gone between them. Clark, 20 yards out, tries to deliver across to the back post towards Cook. And he's gone straight out for a goal kick. But Clark stays down for a moment as Terrell goes to collect the ball. That's a free header there for Wall. And on the edge of the box now come Dartford. It's Shomerton. On the right-hand side, he's got Colson with him. Colson, the captain, delivers right-footed. It's in towards the back post. Romain was in there, two hands in the back of Dyer, but it's been cleared away regardless. And Smith is able to complete the clearance by thundering a ball down the right-hand side that Rooney will reach first for Dartford and play back to Terrell. But another entry into the box. As Wilson closes down Terrell, the goalkeeper, he's taken it off his toes. He sends it to Ewan Clark, who has an effort cleared off the line. Cody Cook, it's in for City. Six yards out, what a mistake at the back there by Dartford. City score through number nine, Cody Cook. And Terrell, with his terrible clean sheet record, has made an awful mistake there. He had it stolen off of him by Scott Wilson. Had the presence of mind to set it to Clark, cleared off the line, and Cook finishes left-footed. 1-0 to the Romans. That was one of those goals where you just feel, surely this is bound to go in, isn't it? Great work for Wilson, which he'd already signalled earlier on by running Terrell down in the first minute of the game. Came to him, his shot, and then, as you say, Clark also shot back cleared off the line but Cody Cook 
for the third attempt by City made no mistake whatsoever. It's so interesting to commentate on these sorts of situations as well because you're thinking as Wilson's running up to him you're thinking he's going to clear it, he's going to clear it, he still hasn't cleared it, Wilson's there and there's a goal. Clark delivers it, delivers it right footed towards the back post, it's in towards Dyer who wins it but it's headed across goal and about six yards wide but City have really picked this up and we described it as a tennis match but it's a tennis match that was going one way and has immediately shifted to the other because City very on top now and now Russ in the middle of the field switches play out to Reigns, Reigns has got a bit of space and has a ball clipped forward towards Chin, it's a difficult one to take down but it's well uh, well taken by Chin, Chin's got Wilson inside and finds Wilson, takes a touch, fires one, it's off the crossbar, back to Wilson again, Chin is offside, but Terrell pulls off a brilliant save from point blank range, even though he was offside there, Chin, but again, Chin getting in great positions, Adaldu fell as the ball went towards him is what got City in, and Wilson hits the crossbar, City looked like they mean business today. Yeah, Richard Chin reacted really quickly though, once he realised that the player had slipped, stepped in there, and great shot from Wilson, I mean that should have been a goal, it just came back off the underside of the bar. It's one of those things where because you've just had a shot, you're not quite ready for the next one. So he tried to volley it and it didn't go anywhere near the goal and it found Chin offside. But City, as I say, look like they mean business as the ball goes forward here. Oh, and Colson's in. What a tackle by Dyer. Well, that was a flick on that just evaded everybody. Colson went in and Jordan Dyer makes a brilliant sliding tackle. Delivers it right footed now. It's a ball to the back post that Reigns is going to head away. It's going to be. It's Wilson challenging for it on the edge of the box, but it's going to be recovered by the striker. And now Reigns has got it. He's got three upfield from him. It's in towards Cook. Brilliant chest control in the centre circle. And Cody Cook coming into the Dartford half now. Chin on the right hand side. He's got a chance to run at Adaldu. Does so. Knocks it past him. Gets to the byline, but is unable to get to the ball. And it's going to go for a city corner. Clark is the one. The other tricky and quick winger here at Twerton Park who's going to take this corner, last time went short, this time drills one in towards the penalty spot, it's not the best delivery, but it comes to Chin, edge of the box, clips one into the penalty spot, oh, it was a played across towards Parcel at the back post, couldn't adjust his feet, it was actually Dyer, I thought it was Parcel, but Dyer unable to direct it goalwards is a chance for City again. Yeah, a little flick on to Dyer at that far post, and uh, you have to say, City looked dangerous with every attack. Daldu throws in for Dartford, it's a long throw, aiming for a flick on, Dyer heads away, Colson recovers it back out to Adaldu again, who tries to set it back to Colson, gives the ball away, and Reigns with a glorious ball forward has sent Scott Wilson away down the right hand side. First touch isn't a great one, has allowed Block to come back and make a good defensive cover, but Wilson's nicked it off of him at the byline, sets it to Ewan Clark. Ewan Clark's got options, tries, oh, he's let the defence close him up. Clark on his left foot, and it's blocked. Well, wow, goodness me, if Ewan Clark had taken that first time, he had a great opportunity, but he took a touch. I think he was going to try and play Tom Smith in and ended up letting the defence get back in and make a block. Yeah, I, I think he didn't really expect the ball to come back from Wilson, and neither did we, because he pulled it right back from the, the byline. An excellent bit of uh, chasing from Scott Wilson, as Greenslade has it from the throw and is going to deliver this left-footed in towards the penalty spot. Cook flicks on and it's evaded Wilson at the back post, and it's going to go for another dart for goal kick. But as you said a minute ago, Andrew, every attack looks like it's going to end up in a goal. Well, if City were 3-0 up there, it would have been no surprise based on the run of play. Absolutely not you can go straight down the middle to Cody Cook or you can go to both wingers, use both overlapping fullbacks and get great end product as well from the likes of Scott Wilson. As Wilson has the ball again here, he's got Chin on the right who he's tried to find twice, he's come to Cook instead, 20 yards out, rolls it into Chin, now inside the box, clips it in towards the six yard box, it's cleared away. Plenty of players on the edge of the box, 24 curls it in and Greenslade gets the header partially clear, it's dropped, he came off the feet of Rooney, back to Coulson, Shumpton again on the Right wing takes on Greenslade. He's pretty much reliant on his left foot, so he likes to come inside where he can. Winter into Shomerton, who's more of an inside right position. Coulson on the flank now. Gets a deep cross in, looking for Wall. There's a couple of defenders wrestling with him, and it's scrambled away by Russ. Still not clear, though. Shomerton chops back onto his right foot, but loses out to Greenslade. A challenge. Now Clark springs out of the deep block. And it's picked off on halfway by Odaudi, who gives the ball back to Bath City. But certainly home fans might have a bias to pick. As well you know, you see managers goes absolutely <laughs> apoplectic over just throw-ins. So. Oh, it's a poor back pass. Wilson's onto it. Tries to poke it past Terrell. And the goalkeeper this time gets the block in. It was Shomerton, who was the winger, doing uh, probably a cardinal sin, trying to do some defensive work on the edge of his own box there. Got it all wrong. Smith. I I think Wilson tried to pass it through the keeper's legs almost. <laughs> yeah. 
sometimes that can work because they do spread themselves to the keepers. So Reigns cuts it back to Smith, edge of the area. Chips it in towards the penalty spot. Cook was waiting, but it's headed out by Block. And now Shongerton a bit further away from goal. Safer option for Dartford. Winter draws the challenge from Chin. Play goes on though, no foul. Russ, a wafty ball, doesn't go anywhere. And it's uh, Shongerton who picks it up. Flick on by Cook, and Clark's just drifted in behind, trying to get through inside the box. Left footed shot, cross goal. And it just goes wide of the far post with Terrell scrambling across. Well, he was under pressure there, Clark, wasn't he? Coming down that left hand side and almost lost control of the ball, but managed to get a shot in and it just went quite a wide, a yard wide of Terrell's post. He's quite a rugged type. He's got it strapping over his right knee. And there's a stoppage a few yards outside the Bar City area. Head injury there, sustained by Romain. I think the referee's also given a free kick. Yeah. It was against Dyer. And he's got it booking as well. Yeah, I think it will be. Ball rather than yeah. Coulson. I got that one wrong. He's paced out his run up pretty straight. He's going to smash this and he goes low and it was a low off target to the left of goal. Romain almost deflected the ball back on target. But that was an awful effort. Throw in from Block is flicked into the danger zone at the near post by Dyer, and it's a header over the top from oh, I think it was. Was it Dover early part of the season? And Wall gets a flick on from Remain right side of the box, tries to crash it in at the near post, but only hits the side netting. Hooks it past Russ, but he does well to hook his feet round and win the ball. Cook to Clark, left side, Greenslade again. Bombing forward to offer his help in an advanced position. And Clark caught late by Terrell Miller-Rodney. And that's going to be a yellow card. And uh, Mark saying it's, it's probably his 10th yellow of the season there. Yeah, he, it was a bad foul. I mean, he knew that Clark was past him and uh, straight away. You get the feeling when you see that, you know that that free kick's just about right. And that is half time before that throwing can be taken by City. And City going in 1 0 up. No Joe Reigns coming out. Jack Batten standing on the halfway line, waiting uh, to come onto the pitch. Well, look forward to talking through this first half of the second half with you. It's City 1 Chelms uh, Chelmsford. A Dartford nil as we start the second half. And Jordan Dyer now at right back has the ball and tries to clear up the right hand side and immediately goes into Chin, who's lost it on the first attempt, but he's won it back straight away from Adaldu. He's got Clark open on the left hand side, who he finds. Clark takes a touch on the edge of the box, looking to cut inside maybe, goes out onto his left foot, tries to deliver it's blocked by block and cleared away and it's going to be a City throwing on the left hand side what a start from City there the batting with his first touch settles a little header into Smith a 1-2 there with Russ and City are able to play down this left hand side with Clark comes across the halfway line Ewan Clark he's got options left and right tried to find Chin but he's unable to do so and Adaldu now charging forward for the first time really without anyone snapping at his heels here's Colson looking for options, comes back out to Adaldu. There's a left footed cross, it's a high and long cross. The Greenslade lets bounce, and Shomerton's got it on the far side. Teasing Greenslade, trying to come in on that left foot. He's got it into Miller Rodney, who's had a go, and it's just wide of Casagrande's left post. But another effort from Dartford, a quick yeah. start from them. Greenslade's got his hands full, you feel, with uh, Shomerton out on that side. As the ball goes into Shomerton from the throw. Shomerton's got two on him again straight away. Block delivers from the right-hand side in towards Wall, who wins the header, but it's nowhere near the goal. Will there be a darting run from someone? It's Clark who's going to deliver it. It's a high delivery towards the back post, and it's Parcel who challenges, but the referee deems that he was pulling on Sh uh, Ro Rooney's shoulders, and the ball is going to go back for a dart for free kick, and Chin has been booked there, and I have to be honest, I didn't see exactly what for, but Rooney's recovered it in the halfway point of City's half here for Dartford he's starting to drift more up the pitch Rooney he's tried to get away from Smith unable to do so and Clark will bring it forward he's got Chin on his right he's got Wilson on his left he's also got Cody Cook on the far right still Clark going down the left hand side plays it inside to Greenslade Greenslade couple in the box plays it in it's well defended by Jordan Winter who had dropped in to help his defence here's Clark still on the left hand side City at the moment Shomerton's done well defensively to get back and make a challenge. James Alabi is ready to come on for City, but he's going to wait 
to after this set piece as Clark has it once again. Clark, it's a hammered delivery out to the back post. Dyer won it, flicked towards goal, but it's going to go wide. James Alabi provides a very different type of opponent because he's about double the width of Scott Wilson. So. I think also Jericho is very conscious that they've got to manage this number of games in February, and I, I suspect he's going to use at some point all of his squad. He needs minutes as well, does James Alabi? His training is as good as it is with Jerry Gill. It's not quite the same as a game as the ball went forward from a dart for goal kick, foul on Alex Wall, and, and now Luke booking. Russ is going to get a booking, which I think is probably fair enough. Yes, yeah. Did pull Wall down to the floor, but it's going to be Colson who delivers this, a quick free kick in towards Rooney. It's come all the way out to Wall at the back post. Wall delivers it into the penalty spot, and headed goalwards got well collected by uh, Casagrande. Did really well to get both hands on that and secure it because Remain came flying in looking for a rebound. It was uh, Nembard who got the initial header. Dartford have left two back, but Miller-Rodney's coming out to be the half-and-half half as the ball goes into the box. It's cleared away by Cook in the six-yard box, and Smith completes the clearance out to Chin on the right-hand side. Chin, lovely switch of play from the young man and learn from Charlton as Clark gets in now on the left, and he's able to run at Miller-Rodney. Miller-Rodney is now filling in at right-back. It's Clark, it's a left-footed delivery. It's into a lobby and it's over the bar. Headed opportunity from about seven yards out. And really, he should have scored. He got too much on it, really. Yeah, he, he just went over the goalposts. He's tried to, I think, tried to put it back across into the top corner instead of just heading it down. And unfortunately, it's made its way over the bar. But great break, great ball from Chin to Clark. Great accurate cross and a lobby. Very unfortunate not to find the net. Romain hooking the ball forward there. Batten takes it down on his chest. It's an incredibly close back pass there that Colson almost got to for Dartford, but well defended by Casagrande. And his clearance is excellent up to Alabi, who's able to keep it in play at the byline. Alabi uses his strength, gets into the box, goes for it left footed at the near post. They had three waiting for him in the box in City, black and white. He went alone and puts it just wide. Well, he's shown plenty of commitment. I, I like James Alabi. I like someone who gives us a different option up there. Still trouble for Torquay, they're drawing 2-2 with Slough this afternoon so far. It's been a disappointing season for Torquay, their fans not happy as James Alabi comes down into the box on the right-hand side for City. Alabi chopping left, chopping right, wins a corner off of the feet of Rooney as he was trying to continually change direction there. And City have another opportunity to get the ball in the box. Well, it's a short corner this time, second one of the game, as uh, Cook to Clark. And back to Cook again, now back to Clark on that right-hand side. It's a 2v1, it can go back to Cook. Shame not to have him in the box in this situation. But a reverse ball to Cook from the byline. Clips one towards the back post, is in towards Dyer. Good defending from Miller-Rodney. And the goalkeeper Terrell's going to come out and sweep this up and take a long, quick kick towards Shomerton. He's got two Bath City players with him. And the Greenslade's header back has gone past Casagrande. And Greenslade gets back to clear his own header back off the line because... Casa Grande was beaten there by his own left back. Corner to be taken by Luke Coulson from the right by Dartford into the middle. And the header down bounces up into the arms of Casa Grande. It's, oh, it's played to Smith. He got bumped in the back by Romain and the referee is going to get his cards out again. I thought Romain had already been booked. No, he hasn't. Clark's free kick from the right. Swung in towards the penalty spot. Head to go out. It's just above Dyer there. Chin faints to shoot but tries to get it onto his left side and the ball's cleared upfield to Remain halfway. He's got Coulson with him. Remain prods it forward. Coulson in the area on the right-hand side. Tries to fire it across Casa Grande but the young goalkeeper sticks out his right hand and stops it. Yeah, he was in a good position. Uh, just not forward off him but he collected easily at the second attempt and for a moment there it was two on two at the back and uh, again a player of Coulson's experience you think he could have made something a bit more of that he had remained on his left hand side and the ball is still in the Romans half it's with Winter square to Smith the substitute falls over as he plays it out to Shomerton on the left and he's a left footer he's going to go for the byline Chops back, two defenders on him, finds a Dowdu, cross towards the far post, free header, and it's planted inside the far post offside. by Alex Wall, but the flag is up, it's going to be offside. Yeah, Alex Wall with a very deliberate header there, really positioned himself well for that, but he was standing still, I hadn't realised the City back line had pushed up. 15 minutes to go, plus stoppage time. Yeah, great header from Alex Wall. 
Sadly for Dartford, the flag was up. And Chin almost got it through to Alabi. It's cleared away by the darts. Batten inside, it's Parcel who heads it out to the right wing. And Chin's caught late there by Dowdu. He got to the ball just before the, the burly Dartford left back. And here's another card from referee Lewis Sander. It's all getting just a little bit scrappy out there at the moment. <laughs> Cook, the goal scorer, plays it out to Clark on the left and he goes for the return up the wing. Shadowed by Rooney and the cross comes into the middle and then have a flying header to clear it out for a corner at the near post. Third time lucky, he's going to stick one of these away. Yeah, it's, he's never been a prolific scorer, but uh, City's sixth corner coming up. Clark, it's a short one, gets it back from Cook and now Cody Cook Whips it across from the left-hand side, it's a deep one, headed back across goal. And it's gone all the way out beyond the far post. Parcel trying to keep it alive, but to no avail. And it's going to be Chris Lyons coming out onto the pitch and replacing the new boy, Richard Chin, who's getting a very good round of applause as he leaves the pitch. And not surprising, been a real star this afternoon. He chips it out to the right-hand side. Brought down by Block. Smith, first time ball into the area. Spoke for Remain, and then Rooney shoots over the bar. He was just outside the D and got underneath it. It was always lifting over the crossbar. Coulson's corner from the left. Played deep. Head score has nodded down at the far post and gathered quite comfortably by Casagrande, who's positioned well. Plays it out to the right hand side. Brought down by Wall. Lays it off. Cross comes in. Bounce back. Another shot comes in. It's taken by Casagrande. Look at Smith, the substitute. And a good save. It's straight at him. Dart for coming into this game with just one win in their last nine league games. Coulson kills it away from goal. It's brought down by Batten, which he didn't really mean to do. And Coulson has it again on the right. Curls it back in. Heads go out. It's flicked away. And then Smith on the left foot. Puts it just over the bar. And another chance goes begging for Dartford. That'll be three defeats in a row under his tenure. Clark trying to draw the free kick out on the left wing. And he gets the decision. And uh, poor old Ewan Clark spends half the match lying on the ground after a foul. <laughs> That's a yellow card for Block as well. Well, we're now into that six minutes. I suspect once Casagrande kicks this, the referee will blow his whistle. Still no whistle near the lips of the referee. Headed back forward for Wall. Facing away from goal. Looks for runners. He's got Coulson out on the left. Right footed ball in is a dangerous one. And Lyons tried to touch it on and it was just evaded. Rooney, and that's it. The final throw of the dice. Almost brought something. But Chris Lyons tracked back and saw it all the way out on the far side. And Bath City can now celebrate victory as Darford. 1-0 this afternoon, it's a third win in a row and for the young goalkeeper Jose Casagrande, four appearances, four clean sheets. Yep, and uh, I know that Mark Stillman was going to look at the record books for that, but uh, he's done really, really well, Casagrande. Didn't have a lot to do, particularly in the first half this afternoon, and when called on at the end there, uh, made a couple of very good uh, diving saves. And City's third 1-0 victory in a row, yeah. uh, which they'll be really pleased about. And uh, Chris, what did you make of their performance this afternoon? Yeah, well, they, uh, they had to ride out some pressure late in that second half, but uh, once they won a goal ahead, Scott Wilson could have made it two just after the quarter hour mark. And, uh, but really, they, for all the, the territory that Dartford had in that second half, it didn't really cause too many palpitations for Roman's fans. And uh, they just sort of soaked up the pressure, really. And uh, James Alabi could have made the game a bit safer after he came on. Had two chances that he spurned. But uh, yeah, it was, it was quite comfortable in the end. Alex Wall had that header that was in that was offside. That, that was one moment where he thought, oh, goodness me. But uh, it was another clean sheet. And uh, 
Yeah, we'll know once again. Anyway, thank you very much for being with us this afternoon. City, their third win in a row. Thank you, Toby Wellington. Thank you, Chris Chappell. And thank you very much for listening to us this afternoon. Don't forget, on Tuesday night, there is a Sunset Cup tie here against Western Superman. And uh, if you get in your, your bookings now, it's only nine quid, ten quid in the day. So do come down to that if you're able to. But for us today, it's goodbye for us. Thank you.